Welcome to the Type 40 TT Capsule Pilot Training Manual. The main deck features the workrooms, residential, all connected by corridors. These main stations are part of the main deck of the capsule and are not subject to change along with the desktop and outer shell. All rooms have access to power conduits as well. The corridors themselves are set by the Omega Complex. If there is too much damage to this complex, the corridors themselves may shift and doorways may not always take you to the same places. Care must be taken that occupants are not trapped in infinite labyrinths of corridors. There are spiral staircases to the lower decks of utility centers and to the upper decks where the outdoor leisure areas reside. All of these systems are customizable, so furniture and signs may be placed to assist you in finding various locations. The workshop areas with power conduits allow for a variety of repair and maintenance of equipment. All systems are online and available, including a fully operational chemistry laboratory and medical bay. The medical bay includes a processor to create first aid equipment for any local users. The main workshop area has a variety of workbenches to work with a variety of tools and crafts. All resources can be pooled and shared between the various workbenches. You may customize as you see fit and power is available through the overhead conduits. Directly on the opposite side of the main deck, through a variety of corridors, you will find the residential section. It is also customizable and otherwise unaffected by changes to the console and outer systems. The residential zone consists of a dressing room and wardrobe area, along with a sitting room providing music and comfort. There is an attached kitchen which has a fully equipped cooking area and a food processor for creating tasty and nutritious cubes. The sleeping area is provided for storage and a place to rest between your travels. All these systems are available on the main deck. The leisure deck containing the observatory, the library, and the swimming pool. The upper level of the spiral staircase takes to an outdoor simulation containing a recreation and leisure area. This is able to simulate both daytime and nighttime conditions depending on the user's preference. The swimming pool area is a customizable zone with a liquid water swimming pool. This water is fresh and is available for both bathing and drinking safely. The local observatory can see local sky conditions and can be set to both daytime and nighttime conditions depending on the phenomena you wish to observe. The library is directly beneath the observatory and is a customizable space able to store and display many types of media. You may customize its appearance to suit your preference. Whether it's used as an outdoor recreation or a place to spend time with your companion, this is the leisure deck. In the corridors at the bottom of the spiral staircase is the basement. The zero room is here. This chamber is sealed off from the rest of the universe so that a Time Lord may rest here and recover. If you are suffering from any post-regeneration symptoms, recovery time in the Zero Room will help some of those symptoms be relieved. The Chameleon Arch allows a Time Lord to hide their mind and physiology in a local body. Merely donning the headset will hide your in inner personality in a device similar to a pocket watch. This device may have psychic whispering when you are in its vicinity. Merely don the headset and activate, and your Time Lord physiology will be changed. Those who have gone through this process before describe it as unpleasant. This process is reversible. Merely find that original pocket watch and don it like apparel. Once it has been returned to you, your DNA and memories should be returned as well as your abilities. The Chameleon Arch is in the basement of the capsule. 
The Cloister Room has direct access to the Eye of Harmony, the black hole that powers all capsules. The lanterns are used to focus energy upon the shield, and activating all four lanterns will open this shield. It is strongly recommended that you vacate the cloister immediately, for when the shield is open, there will be direct exposure to the Eye of Harmony itself, and a great deal of radiation floods into the room, harmful to most species. To reseal the chamber, any lantern needs to be extinguished. All four lanterns are recommended so that accidental activation isn't an issue. Standard radiation medication should relieve any symptoms and return the user to normal. The Cloisters This is the Type 40 TT Capsule Pilot's Training Manual. Thank <laughs> you.